Oh, good morning. Oh, it's a chilly one out this morning. Come on. Oh, I forgot I turned it off. Anyways, it's 25 Fahrenheit. Uh, 6.56 in the morning. Let's see what it is in Celsius for those of you who wish to have the Celsius. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, oh that came out bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got to have the brake on for it to uh, work. Oh, come on, where is it? There we go. Minus 4 Celsius, but the wind is brutal this morning. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Clear that. Uh, we want to get to our trips. There we go. Okay. We're going to sneeze again. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, Missy. Say good morning to everybody. Morning, everybody. Okay. We're in Kingston. I got the sneezies. And we gotta get to Bowmanville, which is, uh oh, uh oh, <coughs> don't you hate when that happens? 182 kilometers, so two hours. We should be there. Alrighty, radio down. So we're in Kitchener, and we had to stop. Uh, we went to the store, and we got Madam a new uh, set of threads, Canada Pooch Athletics. It's a little bit big on her, but she's been out with it. She likes it. Well, we think she likes it. So, keep her warm because it's bloody cold. What are you nibbling on my in hand for, huh? So, yeah. So, we've gone and bought some pet food now that we remembered. And we were trailers dropped. Our paperwork's done. She's got a new little toy. Can't go to the pet store without getting a new little toy. Right, Mal? Right. And we're about to head over to Woodstock to the TA truck stop. That's where we're gonna head to. Oh, gotta get my foot into my slippies. My driving shoes. We got our new transponder, which is right there. We threw the old one out. Hopefully this one works properly. And we'll tidy all that stuff up afterwards. We turned in all our bills from last year. So yeah, it's bloody cold out. 17 Fahrenheit. It's gotten colder since this morning. Let me tell you. Let's see here. Uh, where do we go for that again? Oh my gosh, Jerry, you're so bad. Minus 8 Celsius. But with the wind chill, the wind is something. That's what the killer is. I know a lot of you say, why do you keep it on miles? The reason I keep it on miles is because I'm not smart enough to understand the miles per gallon to liters per hundred, whatever that is there. I don't uh, get the conversion. There we go. Because see, oh, I'm not going to do it now. Screw it. At any rate, whatever. We're going to Woodstock. All right, That's boys and girls, we have made it to Woodstock. What's up with you? Hey, silly girl. What's with that, huh? What's with that? What's that? What's that, silly girl? What's that, silly girl? Yes, you are. Okay. You look at the camera for a bit. I gotta get your shit in order here. Uh, my coat is in the way. Look at the doggy food we bought you. And we got your other shit too. That stuff we'll put away. Uh, I did forget to bring some stuff in. Damn it. Oh uh, well. We'll put it in the next envelope. No big deal. Let's take a look. See, I bought you. And then this one. Oh, yeah, we got you some more of these uh, snack thingies that you like. Is that a regular bag or is that a small bag? That's a mini bag. I don't know. Can I claim dog food on my uh, taxes since she comes with me in the truck? Oh, that's a good question. We'll keep the receipt just in case. You know, right on it, dog food. Okay, we got you a Furminator. We got your brush. We got you these other special treats. Mmm, nummy, nummy. And we'll keep that receipt also, just in case. Those bags are too small to keep. 
Okay, some of you are saying, what the heck is a Furminator? Well, it's good for, uh, we're not going to open it right now. Um, actually, we should. Let's get the heater going here. Okay, it's, uh, because she sheds a lot. So, it's really good for dogs that shed. We have it for the big dogs at home. Yes, madam. Relax. This one doesn't come with a little plastic uh, guard? No, apparently not. I know the other one did. Why doesn't this one? Oh, it does. It's just down there. Why do they got to put it in such a stupid space? Hey, Mo? Why? Why, why, why? It forces me to have to rip the living crap out of it. See, there's the protective paint. Instructions. Not that we need it. Because we're used to the Furminator. Come here. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. Just from that little bit. Come here, you. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. No, don't trembly. No tremblies. No tremblies. No tremblies. Well, you, look, at, look at the fur that comes off for her. Anyways. We got you a regular brush. We'll put that away because I know that's scaring you, baby. We got you a regular brush. Again, that they got to put stupid shit on. The regular brush you're used to. Why do they got to put this shit on here so tight? Ooh. I don't even know where that went to. Don't worry, you're going to get rewarded really good, puppy. Come here. Come here. Yep, you know. Sit. There we go. You are such a, such a pretty dog. Oh, yeah. This we got to do more often. Hmm? Lift up. I'm going to try to do this every night. Once we get you your hair cut, though. Hmm? Hmm? Got to cut your hair because it's so raggedy. You don't get any knots in your hair. I know you don't like it, eh? Because we haven't done it in a while. Yeah. And your hair is so long. Let's take a look at this ear. Yosh. I know. And we gotta cut your hair. It's so long. Trim. Not today. Hopefully we're gonna end up going where I'm hoping we're going. Okay. Yeah. See with this there's some, but not as much as the Furminator. The Furminator, this thing, really pulls the fur off, huh? Yes, and it makes your fur so soft, so soft. Okay, just for being such a good girl, let's give you something new. Got these pork chunks. The Nutrident we've had before, you guys have seen that. But let's give her this. Let's see how you like this. Huh? Well, I gotta get it open. Apparently, I didn't do a good job tearing it here. What the heck? There. There. What's in this, huh? Ooh, look at that! Is that look good or what? And no, it's not rawhide. It's rawhide free. You want to take it? And keep licking it. Ooh, nummy nummies. And keep licking.
take it. It's in the bag. It's there for you. I got it for you, baby. Here. Hmm? You're not sure, huh? You know it's something that you're supposed to have. Yeah, it's good. It's for you. It's nummies. Here. It's nummy nummies. Yeah, nummy nummies. Here, nummy nummies. It's one you're going to have to work on, I think, huh? You're just not 100% sure about it. You never had one of those before. No, you never had one of those before. Wait, what, what, what? There's nothing in my hand. It's right here. You want me to open the other bag? Oh, I probably shouldn't this close to dinner time. Uh, this one, it's not a Ziploc-y thing anyway, so... Not really. Oh, it is. Okay. to open. Okay. I'm pulling and it's not pulling. Hey, go eat the other thing. I might we just say screw it and cut it open. There we go. Which apparently wasn't the thing to be doing. Oh well. Well, how the hell else were you supposed to open it? That doesn't make a whole lot of freaking sense, you know, people. It's got the damn thing in there, but none of it makes sense. It doesn't make sense at all. There's no sense to it whatsoever. Here. It's your green thingies. You like your green thingies. Ah, the green thingies you like. We got another bag up there that's still intact, so we'll probably throw those into that. There you go. Okay, so we're going to clean up here. Look, you got two treats here now. You don't want either one of them? Hey, turd. Oh, it's a big turd. A little big turd. Give me a kiss. Mm, yeah, good kiss. Alrighty. we got to get ourselves organized here. That's what we got to do. We want to fill up her food dish. And we're going to get ourselves all organized. That's what we're doing. Yes, sir. You ball. All righty. Missy and I are out for our final walk of the evening. And she's got her new little coat on. It's a little bit big on her, but it'll keep her nice and warm. Hey, silly. That's a good place to go. It's all nice hard packed snow. Anyways, we're at the TA here, which is like, that's just a fuel island. The truck stop is way over on the other side. But... I parked here because, hey, it's by the light, B, there's a garbage can, and it's close to the snow banks for her to go walking. So we're just going to go take a walk and we'll probably walk down to the sign and back as our final one, not a big walk. See, nice hard packed snow. Hey, babe. All right. But it's chilly, but at least the wind has died down. Thank God. So, all right, you guys aren't going to be able to see much here now with me. Because I'm going into the darkness of the abyss. See, TA sign. Sign of the TA. So, and their shop is over there. They got a pretty good sized shop here, so. Alrighty, folks. We shall talk at you tomorrow. That's it, that's all. Tomorrow morning, we're going to Tilsonburg. We're gonna pick up. And we're gonna cross at Detroit. And then we're gonna head south. I'm not gonna tell you where just yet, because I don't wanna jinx it. So. Because we'll probably end up just detouring into Indy. But who knows? Anything could happen. Great right, Mount. Right. Alrighty. Pneumatic tanker. Okay. We're out of here. We're gonna continue our walk in this very little bit of wind. There's still wind, but it's not as bad as what it was earlier. So. Alright. But it's still bloody cold.